last step. After transfer it or migrated Joomla website to WordPress, I have to move this WordPress website to the root of the domain. In my case, to the folder where I keep my website by using FileZilla. Now I'm ready to move WordPress from this subfolder to the domain name folder or to the root folder if you have one website by first log into WordPress and after that go to dashboard. After go to dashboard, go to settings, general, on WordPress URL and site URL. Delete everything after the website name like this. Delete and site URL too. Delete and then go further down. Click on Save Changes. In FileZilla, I search for the domain name folder I want to move Joomla. In FileZilla, I um, click on the domain name folder. So I see everything from Joomla website, 11 files, and 17 directories. Now, I will create one, one new subdirectory by click with the right mouse, create new directory and change the name of the new directory to old website. I will move everything from Joomla website, every files except Google and Bing, except this one and this one. Here is the old website and after this I will move this except to VP, the folder where I keep WordPress. Move this to oh okay and this one okay and from this move it to old website two more okay right now in this domain name folder i have one subdirectory called old website cnx maybe you are wondering why i want to put all joomla's files and folders in this old subdirectory because you never know if something goes wrong i still have Joomla website back. So right now I'm going to to this folder. Open the folder and copy everything from this folder. So I click this folder opened and I see here 17 files and three directories and they are belongs to WordPress. I highlight everything from this folder and move everything to the domain name folder to the or for you maybe the root folder. And now I'm going to the website to the domain name folder, click on it. I can see now 
I have 19 files and 5 directories. Include this subdirectory or subfolder and this folder. I will now remove this one because it's empty. So remove 2VP. After this, I'm going to log in into WordPress and check the internal links and permalinks. To log in, I don't put the name of the subfolder behind the website name. Just do like this, website name and uh, the way to log in into WordPress. Hit enter and I can log in to WordPress. To check the internal links and permalinks, I'm going to setting permalinks. And right now, I, uh, I will click on plain or default and then save changes. I don't change anything uh, here not to cast, uh, custom structure, post name of numeric. I will do it later on after I'm sure I want to change the theme, the color, when I add more pages or post. So I'm finished now. And if you want to change theme, you can go to appearance, theme. For example, if I want to change the theme to 2014, I click on 2014 and then click on activate or you can add new and upload the theme you want to use. So you see this is the 24 theme on my example WordPress website. Thank you for watching and good luck.